Hi, welcome to another video. So, Claude has launched their 3.7 Sonnet model, which is actually pretty great, at least on the benchmarks. They even launched their own Claude Code AI coder, which I have already made a video about, and you can check it out if you haven't already. It's quite cool. The key feature of the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model is that it is a hybrid model. It can be a simple model, it can be a reasoning model if you want, or it can be anything that you want. The base 3.7 model is better than 3.5 Sonnet, and the knowledge cutoff date also seems to be as recent as October 2024, which is great to see, as it will know some libraries after 2023 as well. Anyway, you can also control the budget for thinking. You can tell Claude to think for no more than some number of tokens, which is great. In benchmarks, it actually performs on par with O1, and Grok 3 is not mentioned here. So, this is good to see. The chain of thought of the model is also visible and is not obfuscated. So, that's great work by them. Some more fun stuff that they shared about it is that they used it to play Pokemon and it apparently beats the first three gym leaders, which is higher than 3.5 Sonnet and others. That's quite great to see. In Aider benchmarks, it performs better than R1, but a little worse than O1. So, there's that. Now let's test it out, and let's see how well it performs. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. I have updated some questions based on feedback from you guys. And please send any prompt below that you think is super complex, and I'd be happy to update it. Anyway, the first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Lia. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's mark it a pass. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's keep it a pass. The next one is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word when put together spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. I tried it another time, and it wasn't correct either. So, this is a fail. I didn't expect this. This is quite surprising. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this one is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is this pattern recognition question. The answer to this should be 1999. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also not correct. So, let's keep this a fail. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is a pass. Next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. 
Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, then this works pretty well. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to use it, then this works well. So, this is great. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, so this looks amazing. Let's keep this a pass. Next question is, write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. The ball should be affected by gravity and friction, and it must bounce off the rotating walls realistically. Let's send it and see. Here's the code, and if we try to run it, then this works well. The ball is bouncing well, and with correct physics. So, this is a pass. The last question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to run this, then this works quite well. So, this is also a pass. Now, this is the final chart, and this model is quite good. Although, its strong suit is still coding. In coding, nothing beats it now. But if you're looking to do mathematics or something else, then I think that Grok 3 Thinking or O3 Mini will be better. They can answer the haiku question correctly. I don't think that the reasoning effort of the model is useful in coding either, because it will be very expensive, as the thinking tokens are also charged. And if you give it a coding question, then it anyway doesn't do any good amount of reasoning. So, I am considering this to be a helpful feature, but just for reasoning and complex problems. O3 will probably be better, but in just pure coding stuff, this is still amazing, and I'll be using it a lot. If you use Cursor or Windsurf, then make sure that you use this model, because it's really good at coding. Their Claude Code thing is also great, and you can give it a try and use it. I already have made a video on it, so check that out as well. I think that this is a great update, and it just makes Claude a whole lot better. I would have liked it to become cheaper, but they didn't do that. Anyway, it's still great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.